I'm Robert Bryce, and the way I see it, electricity explains the world. The essentiality of electricity to modernity is incontrovertible. Nearly everything we care about, women's rights, health, freedom, income, all are closely correlated with electricity consumption. The countries that can supply cheap, abundant flows of electrons are the countries that can bring their people out of the dark. We have billions more who are living in dire energy poverty. We need to make energy cheap. Now, do we want it clean? Do we want it reliable? Absolutely. But cheap, abundant, reliable in that order. Renewable energy alone cannot provide the vast scale of energy that the U.S. and global economies demand at prices consumers can afford. We have to get serious about nuclear. This idea that nuclear is too dangerous, no, it's not. There is no credible pathway toward large-scale decarbonization that doesn't include large increments of new nuclear capacity. Our fear of nuclear is dangerous. Just to keep pace with growth in electricity demand globally would require us to install 15 times as much solar capacity as now exists in Germany, and we'd have to do it every year. Just to meet incremental demand growth. Collect all the world's car batteries, string them all together, charge them all up. They could hold about 30 minutes worth of global electricity demand. We have 1.2 billion people who are still living without electricity. But smaller computers, faster communications, lighter engines, denser agriculture, and cheaper everything from sanitation and medicine to electricity and transportation have led to a revolution in living standards. What has happened over the last decade? Global energy consumption has risen and risen dramatically. We have no interest in being energy independent. We are energy interdependent today and we will be tomorrow. The effort towards smaller, faster, lighter, denser, cheaper is happening all around us. We have to double global electricity production over the next three decades or so. And we're going to need solar, nuclear, coal, gas, geothermal, wind, and hydro, all of it to make that happen.